I want to share with you what you should do if you're brand new to memory techniques to prevent you from being overwhelmed by all the information that you're trying to learn. So let's get started. So let's say I'm trying to learn all this information, okay? So what I would do is I made a video explaining how in the way you structure the information, you can actually encode information in the structure. Well, I would be using a memory palace to memorize all this information. So the palace itself would represent the origin of Germany. So I wouldn't have to memorize Germany at all. And for this example, I'm going to skip the um, FG Max here, okay? So let's get started. What I would do is I would write down every single image I'm going to picture. All right, so Doppelbach, I think that's how you said I'll picture a dog and a block. Now I'm going to use my number system for all the numbers. Six is going to be Shane. 25 is going to be um, marrying a cake. 7.0, I'm going to take that as 70. It's going to be Cooper. 10 is going to be eating a candle. 16 is going to be David. And 26 is going to be showering. And 78 is going to be piano. All right. So now that I have my images written out, I'll go to the actual location, which for this example is the 23rd location. And I would picture all these images. So maybe it's a couch and I see this block right in the dog. And the dog is barking at Shane because Shane is marrying a wedding cake. And then maybe Cooper bumps into the cake and the cake splashes everywhere. Then Cooper picks up a candle and starts to eat it. And then David, he has a whole bunch of cake covering him. So he's showering and he's using a piano as kind of like a loofah. Okay. And there we go. And so I wrote out all my images because say if, if I'm reviewing the information, I'm like, okay, what was, oh yeah, the, at the couch, there was a dog and a block. Yeah, the block was right in the dog. And then somebody, oh, someone was marrying a cake because Cooper bumped into it. And then Cooper did something. So what happens is you might have some gaps, but since you wrote down all your images, you could quickly go back and look at it and review it. Like, oh yeah, it was Shane who was marrying a cake. Oh yeah, Cooper was eating a candle. And so it's very quick to go back and see what images you're missing. But it can also help you identify any problems that you're having. Maybe you keep forgetting Shane. So that could be indicator, hey, Shane, number six, that image isn't really that great. So I might have to change it. But then you also get to figure out what works and what doesn't work. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to do this for every single thing. So say if I, were, I was trying to write down all my images and I have... 119 different uh, main categories, okay? 119. That is a lot of images to be writing out. It's going to take so much time. So you only want to write out your images for a fixed amount. So all, for, for this example, all of the um, information that belongs to Germany, that's the only information I would write out the images. Then for the rest of them, by then you should have the confidence in what you're picturing and have more fluidness with the techniques to actually go and use the techniques without writing down any of your images. So that's what I recommend you're doing. If you're just starting out, brand new to the information, write out the images that you're going to be picturing, use them, but only do it for a fixed amount of information. Then for the rest of information, go at it without writing down anything. Because eventually you want to get to the point where, man, you're just picturing all your images and you have confidence in your skill and ability to use memory techniques and in the images that you're picturing to represent the information. So hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.